I'm Deksha Kavaya and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about my experience answering all the questions related to the George, which is student residence of George Brown College. So it is located in downtown. And uh, when I was uh, applying for this place, uh, I didn't found any more videos made by students who are currently living in the dorm or like I didn't find any latest information. So I was like, let's answer the questions because just like me, everyone else would be confused uh, deciding whether to live here or not. So after watching the video, maybe you can also uh, see if you want to live here or not. So let's start answering all the questions. And yeah, before I start, please subscribe, like, comment and share this video with your friends who are also thinking about living here in the true residence. And please keep on supporting me because it really motivates me. And yeah, follow me on Instagram, it's d18sh. And yeah, let's begin. So as you can see in the pictures and videos, these are fully furnished two bedrooms that includes a kitchen and bathroom in the common area. Uh, the kitchen includes a full size fridge with microwave, uh, there is a sink and a preparation space if you want to cook. There is also a table and two chairs that you can eat, seat and eat. Uh, they also provide bi-weekly cleaning services for your kitchen and bathroom which is a common area. So you don't have to worry about cleaning it but still you will have to clean your room. So every private bedroom will include double size platform bed and there is a work desk. Uh, it's fine, so like there's two layers so you can use it. There's a chair which I'm sitting on. There's a dresser which has four drawers in it. And there's also a television which is rare. You don't find TVs in student residence. There's also a telephone, like TV and telephone, great. You don't need to buy those stuff here. Then uh, there's also a closet, um, it's good. So you don't have to, you know, buy the small things uh, when you are moving in. And if you are new here, you don't even have to buy the mattress. You just need to buy a bed sheet covers and everything. I'll be making a separate video on things that I got here. But yeah, there's also a big full size window. So you can also see the view of downtown, which is amazing. Then there is like full Wi-Fi coverage and there are uh, plugs. So you can also charge your devices at many places like there's one at the back and there's one at the side then um, the common area like I said I'll show in the vlog I made but this is just an informative video so I'll be just adding few clips of the room and everything I got and I'll give a proper room to a video in the next video I'll be posting and uh, now talking about other things uh, like answering all the questions I got let's do that so the first question I got was how much does it cost? So it costed me around 10,300 for the academic term and there are different terms here like fall or winter, summer terms and uh, different prices for each term. So this is the longest term which is starting from 4th of September and it ends on April 23rd. So which is around 7 to 8 months and uh, because I was moving in early like 4 days I had to pay $30 per day. So in total, it costed me around $10,420 and uh, I find it like a bit expensive. I know it is, but the thing is that you get so many facilities like you don't have to buy the mattress, you get Wi-Fi for free, you get hydro, electricity, everything for free, including, I mean, including in the fees. So you don't have to worry about all the small to different things like you don't have to buy a dresser, you don't have to buy the curtains. O only things you'll have to buy are the small things that you need like the bed sheet covers and mirror and small to big stuff so which is normal but you know when you are new here you don't have to worry about this small to big things and uh, 
best advantage is that you are living in the downtown so all your campuses are nearby you can take a car like you can take a ttc or you can just walk like it's only 10 minutes walk 10 to 14 minutes so i think this is all feasible if you know you try to calculate all the expenses like you are trying to share the room it's around 400 to 500 if you want a private room it will be around 600 to 700 and then adding up all your expenses like uh, light and hydro or electricity, Wi-Fi, buying mattresses, shopping and everything. It will sum up to something around the same. So I think it all makes sense to me. Um, then uh, the next question was, uh, how was your experience so far and what would you tell if someone would be coming to Canada soon? So this is a generalized question, but to be honest, the first two weeks I came here, were a bit busy because my college was going on and I had to work on my assignments and give my test and everything so they were kind of busy but after I finished my college like the first semester I was just enjoying I went to Niagara Falls I like visited every places nearby like I'm going out every evening and stuff I'm meeting new people I'm making friends oh I think there's another question for it like how about socializing there something which is super important to me yeah it is important to so many people especially when you're extrovert so you'll find so many good people here like from your courses from your college from different colleges uh you everyone is super friendly so i got so many friends like there are indian people here as well and if you are from other countries great like you get diversity here a lot like people from all over the world are living here in toronto and also in the student residence, you will get so many people, you can interact with them, you can hang out with them. Uh, I also made a small group of friends, so I also, you know, go around with them and everything. So I was asked that why did I choose the student residence and did not rent an apartment or room? So the thing is, you know, instead of buying all this stuff, especially when you are new here, is a bit uh, difficult and when you want to move out, it will be more difficult because you know, you'll have to take the mattress you have to take all your cupboards and everything so i didn't want to do that and especially i just wanted to live in downtown and i wanted to you know uh, see the locality and everything so i was like it's fine to me and also you get so many facilities like there's a full like kitchen here like uh, also there's, uh, i forgot to mention it that there is a common kitchen like on every floor uh, or or every alternative floor which is so good i'll be making another video on it so if you want to cook properly, you can also get uh, a microwave, there's an oven, there's a fridge, everything. So you can, you know, go there, uh, book an appointment and cook your food over there. Or maybe you can cook in your room. So I got a small induction, uh, which was like convenient to me. So I can cook whenever I want. I don't have to worry about going to the common kitchen and cook and everything. So basically, I really like living in the downtown so far and then uh, she asked me what is the total cost including food and utilities that you are paying at the residence uh, they don't include food here so you have to manage your own food so uh, I mean it's fine you are anyways not going to eat your lunch I mean it's just snacks and everything you can just eat anything that you want to cook so I mean everyone has different preferences so I think it's up to you what you want to cook how much you want to cook people pe prefer buying food from outside like you know ordering from uber and everything you can do that as well but i personally don't prefer eating out much so i just cook my own food and uh i mean if you see again everything sums up to just the same i mean thoda paisa bachi sake cha but if you know you want to just live your student life at least once in your life living here will be the best experience you'll make so many friends you'll meet new people you'll definitely be living in downtown so there's so many advantages of it itself and um, i mean again it's a personal choice you can still live somewhere far away like in scarborough mississauga Brampton, and everything for a cheaper rate but again it will take you an hour or one and a half hour to just come here and like if it's fine to you that's okay but basically every communicate like every transit here takes around one to 45 minutes so that's fine as well but 
yeah also i missed this important point that uh commuting here like from downtown to somewhere else is good like they have really good transit here but uh again you'll be paying money for it so you'll save on it as well if you're living in the downtown or in the student residence because it's super close to every campuses so yeah just uh see what is feasible to you see what uh sums up to you like your expectations and everything but personally i'm liking it so far like you don't have to worry about anything you just get everything here and you just have to buy a few things you can get it from amazon or instacart there's like so many options for shopping like i personally prefer to buy it on my own so i had a little bit challenge in that because i had to bring all my bag like bags and everything here so dekh lo tum log i mean i don't know hindi english what language sh- uh, like suits you so i prefer talking in english throughout the video and if you got any more questions do let me know like text down there's my instagram id i have attached so just text me on instagram comment down below your doubts and everything and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and if you got any other questions i'm here and yeah please like comment and subscribe this video share with your friends and family or anyone you know that wants to live here and yeah please subscribe and yeah see you soon bye